everybody what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Nanama you could call me Amo or Nana for short so here on this channel y'all I just like to create content and post whatever it is that I feel like doing so you might come here and I'm talking about music by way of an, um, reaction videos or I'm talking about fashion or or um, tech politics the only thing you're probably not going to get on this channel is sports so if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to my channel and keep up with all the different things that I'm into and I like to create. <laughs> okay, so today, y'all, y'all, guess what? I bought a coach bag. <laughs> I bought a coach bag. If anybody would have told me a couple months ago that I'm a... You are going to purchase a coach bag. I would have been like, well, that's a fit. You lie. <laughs> but look, today, guess what? I have an unboxing video of the beautiful coach bag that is just stepping on our necks right now. Um, I really don't know what to expect. Obviously, I know what I bought, but I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to like it or not. Anyway, let's just open it right away. I don't have a box cutter, so we're just going to have to do it like this. Kids, don't try this at home, okay? I that I wanted. I could only find it at Dillard's. Um, even the Coach website didn't have it. They have certain stores that they carry certain colors that you can't find in other stores. Okay, so opening the package. Um, oh, I saw a little bit of it. I wasn't expecting. Ooh. Y'all, I was not expecting the bag to be right in it. I thought I was going to get the coach box and everything. So, I don't want to look. But, you know, I'm opening it right now. As you got, you, all right, you guys already saw the color. So, I got the orange one. And it just comes in this bubble um, wrap. I, I'm a bit disappointed. Because I thought I was going to get the whole nine. I thought I was going to get it in the coach box and all of that. But it just comes in this brown box and the bag is already in it. So, F for presentation. So, if you know me, you probably are so shocked that I got this color, but. Oh my God, here it is. Oh. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just like taking it in. So, this is the bag. I'm a bit disappointed because I thought I was going to get the whole zhuzh, but it gave it to me straight. As you guys can see, this is the Coach Pillow Tabby. Yeah, or the Tabby Pillow. I think it's the Pillow Tabby 26. This is the bag that Coach is really, 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 really coming back with. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. All right, so right away, the leather is very, very soft. It's called the Pillow Tabby Pillow for a reason. This is really a bag that if you travel with to the, um, to the airport, you can literally take a nap in this. Because y'all know airport chairs are just a punishment. So um, so let's just get into it. So off the bat, one thing that I love about this is definitely the dog tag. The tag, I think the tag is so beautiful. It's this kind of puffy, puffy material. You could like press, press on it. Um, I think it's so beautiful. It really adds to the aesthetic and like, you know, the details of it. Um... I love the gold hardware on there as well. It's not that obnoxious, um, bright, shiny gold. You know, it's really, I don't want to say dull because it's, it's really pretty, but it's just, it's just right. One thing that I love about the bag too is definitely the sign, the C. So you would think that they would make the logo like a, um, a gold hardware on top of it, but it's actually also like a, um, it's not it's not a leather material it's this hard material i guess it's covered with leather but it's very hard it's not as soft as the rest of the bag it's hard but it still has the same color as the bag instead of just pure gold um 
emblem emblem is that the right word or just a gold sign on top and then it has like the gold trimming right around the C. just the detail it is so beautiful um so one thing that i really also like about the bag is that you could literally go like you could go all out with it you could do whatever that you want with it so the handle it comes with two handles and they are both um you could take it out so you can either just wear it just as the top handle on its own or you could wear the strap on its own or guess what you can just buy a whole different strap you could get a gold strap i would love like a big chunky gold strap um and wear both both the leather handle and the gold um strap together and hold it together like that i think it's so beautiful or let the um the gold the, ch the chunky gold hang or you could just wear the gold um handle by itself or you could really go all out and color block with this um, because of this color you can do like a yellow handle if you want i mean you could do a green a pink a purple and just color block with this i think that would be so cute as well because this specific color gives you the ability to do so um so let me see let me try on hook and obviously i'm going to wear the bag so you guys can see how it looks on me properly but see you could just take the handle off and just wear it um I'm going to um, do a better shot where y'all can see it on me. But you can, you know, wear it just like this. I think that is so cute. You can even really wear it as a clutch. Let me try to, um, let me take both handles off. Let me see. And you can just, you know, wear it as a little clutch if you want to, you know. Or you could just put um, the handle on just try to put the handle on or you could just wear it just like this wear it just like that so for the past couple of months for a while now i've really been like looking at coach from a distance and like peeping all the stuff that they're doing when it comes to marketing and how they're placing your brand. I know a couple months ago I saw that they have um, J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez as one of their ambassadors or the face of, you know, some of their brands. I mean, their bags and stuff like that. And I was like, um, yeah, I mean, I saw where, where they were going with that, but I didn't think that, you know, J-Lo is what is going to get all the girls and boys buying this bag. I felt like J-Lo probably keeps coach in the same demographic or age group maybe makes it a bit younger but i didn't think that you know jayla was the one to bring them the comeback that you know they'll probably want and that i know they had like michael b jordan and michael b jordan is fine and all you know he's a superstar but i don't think nobody checking for what michael b jordan is wearing michael b jordan is not guiding how we dress okay or the fashion they got megan the stallion as well and i thought okay i see where they're going with it i don't know if it's working or not but they need to have all the celebrities wearing it they don't have to be the face of the company or do like um ambassador or like you know in influencer or whatever for the blunt brand like how j-lo and michael b jordan and um megan are doing but kind of like just give the bags to them behind closed doors have them pictured wearing this throughout the whole summer i'm trying to see the city girls with this on i'm trying to see cardi if they do a real good job this can even be a unisex bag i could definitely see a metro a metrosexual man wearing this bag or a man who is very free with your fashion i could definitely see somebody like an uzi uzi vert wearing this even a quavo like they can really go out with this bag because coach y'all got it with this style I need to have all the instagram influencers wearing this i'm trying to see a uh, um Aaliyah J wearing it. I'm trying to see um, who else. UK. I'm trying to see Patricia Bright in this. I'm trying to see Nella Rose in this. I'm trying to see the um, Annie Drea, um, um, Jackie Ina. Come on, like um, Jeffrey Star. <laughs> I know that Coach is like a classic bag. It's very like you know classic and put together. And you know if I'm going out and I'm having you know. A ghetto fabulous night which is cute too ghetto fab 
I'm probably not going to reach out for the coach. Maybe I might get the Gucci or something. But, you know, the next day, if I'm meeting up with my girls, we having a little brunch and afterwards going tennis or something like that, baby girl, I probably will want to the, pull the coach out the next day. You know what I mean? So they can literally brand um, their, you know, their brand however way they want. So I don't think, you know, having all the girls and boys wearing it or making it mainstream is going to, you know, change the classic, you know, classy baby girl type, you know, tennis plan, you know, just very put together vibe that coach gives. I think they could still um, control the brand and however way they, that they want and still have the girls and boys wearing it. Now, I know that, I mean, so I know that a lot of people have been wearing this bag and it has really caught the attention of people and it's on people's radar. But I don't think it's here like that. Like, I don't feel like everybody's privy to this and that coach is really, you know, coming back. Obviously, we know that some years ago, coach kind of fell off a bit to certain people, kind of like how Michael Kors did. Um, but I don't think that everybody just knows and everybody about to be on this bag, like how we killed Goyard this past season and Dior this past season, y'all. It was like we were wearing a uniform. Everybody had Goyard. Everybody was in Tulum. So I don't think people know this bag like that, but I feel like it's really catching steam. So, man, coach and coach quality has always been good. It's, it has always been good. I really don't know what happened. I don't know why it kind of like fell off people's checklist um, for so long, but they really got this one. They really got one. And also they have another bag that I think is so pretty. I think it's called the Beat. 18 the beat bag or something i think that bag is so beautiful so shout out to Cole. but anyway let's get inside let's get inside and see what the inside is given you know what i'm saying let's take a tour inside the rooms okay so inside the bag um and again if you buy it directly from coach depending on the color that you get i'm not sure how yours is going to come i do know it's going to come in you know in a nice coach um box with a little blue ribbon but this is how i got mine from Delerts. So it has these um, paper stuff to kind of like keep the shape and to keep it looking all right. And then, you know, more. Oh, okay. At least they did give me a dust bag. So that's a plug. So let's look inside, y'all. So inside it has two compartments and then it has a, a center part that divides it. And the center part has a zipper. It has little stuff covering it. Um, okay, it comes with the little coach papers. So it has a zipper in the center where you can like, you know, put your money, your wallet, or your valuables that you don't want to um, make it so easily accessible. And they have this brown tag, which I think makes the bag look so nice. I love the brown accent tag on it. It just has, you know, coach on there and it's just two compartments and it can definitely fit all the stuff that I usually carry I don't usually carry much I usually have my keys my phone and my wallet and that's literally it and my lip gloss but that's I don't really carry much so this is gonna be easy um yeah y'all I just want to appreciate the bag and let it sink in so let's talk about the color the color so if you watch um youtube videos on this bag or even if you see the website pictures it does look a little bit of a deeper orange but this is not a deep orange this is like a little bit on the lighter side so this is a louis vuitton um box and um if you are familiar with the louis vuitton orange color this is basically it next to each other. So it's not quite the same orange, but I don't know if this will help you get a perspective. Um, is it closer to the um, Hermes orange? I'm not sure. But when I'm editing this video and I look back at the video, if the color is what you see online as you, you see it in person, I will make a note. On the video and if it's not i'll make a note too but it's not really like a bright orange either so this bag literally came out this year i think it came out like january or something like that so some of us that got it we are really early to the party sort of i'm kind of late because i'm getting it in april 
Um, but if you you if you get a nail before it blows out of here like that, girl, I'm gonna tell you to get a nail so you could get all your Instagram pictures, time stamp it. So down the line when everybody's trying to get it and they see your Instagram pictures, they be like, Oh, she been knowing. Oh, she has foresight. She already knew this was an it bag. So get a girl right now so you could get all your pictures so when it's everybody getting it. You look like you've been had that. You're not even with the trends, okay? So get you this bag ASAP. I love this bag. I think it's so fun. It comes in multiple colors. I love the um, the the neutral one, the tan one, or the yeah, the nude one. I think it's so beautiful. It literally makes me wanna drink poor Nido in my mouth. Nido. If you're not African or you're not Caribbean, you might not know what Nido is, or you might I don't know, but it's basically like um powdered milk. Like I think the nude is so gorgeous, but I didn't want to get it only because I felt like I wasn't gonna get enough wear out of it. I know it's nude. Nude goes with everything, but I feel like the colors and the tint that I usually wear nude wouldn't be my best bet, especially that shade of nude. And the pink one is my favorite as well. I think it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. So I was really tied between trying to get the pink one or the orange one. I ended up getting the orange because I felt like both the pink and the orange both do a great job of, you know, be, being a pop of color for whatever outfit you're wearing. And I usually am in a lot of whites, a lot of blacks, a lot of grays. I wear a lot of like neutral colors. So I felt like it is both colors do a good job of, you know, making it a pop of color in your wardrobe or in your outfit. But at the same time, I felt like the orange goes a step further by being able to wear it with other colors too and not just neutral colors. So with the orange, I could really see you wearing like a nice green dress and, you know, having the orange. I could see it with a nice purple dress and having the orange. I can see you with... Um, a pink dress even a pink dress and having the orange i like the idea of having a pink dress and having an orange bag then the reverse then the reverse of that which is like having an orange dress and then having this one in the pink i don't know if that makes sense and i'm being too meticulous but i just felt like this does a better job not only going with um neutral colors but also going a step further and looking good with colorful colors as well more than the pink does to me because the leather is so soft, I don't know if it's going to get flattened. I don't know if it's going to attract a lot of scratches. I feel like it can really scratch easily. But I don't know how it's going to age, but I do hope that it ages well. The bag does give kind of like a Fendi baguette type style. Um, I'll even say that it kind of reminds me of the same silhouette. You know, like the Fendi baguette and the same silhouette as like the Gucci Marmont. Um, even the same sort of family as even the Chanel uh, classic double flap, perhaps. Um, but definitely um, the strap, the top handle, and the strap literally gives a um, Fendi, Fendi, um, Fendi baguette type style for sure. Another reason why I, oh, I also got this bag was because I was kind of looking to have a colorful name brand bag in my, you know, in my, in my closet um i know for sure that girl maybe down the future when i'm rich and i got money like that and i can afford several and several and several i wouldn't care to get like you know a colorful luxury bag luxury brand bag but i'm not gonna buy a colorful ysl bag or a colorful dior bag or a colorful louis vuitton bag or nothing like that because i want to get my money's worth right i want to make sure i'm going to get a lot of wear out of it but i felt like this was the best the perfect perfect you know still a name brand bag still relatively affordable not not too expensive compared to the other bigger um fashion houses and still get that color that i needed so that is another reason why um probably the main reason why i got this bag but even if i don't get too much wear out of it i'm not going to be extremely bothered because i didn't spend like in the thousands for it you know what i mean but i definitely do think i'm going to wear this pretty like I'm I'm going to wear it. My cost per wear is this this going to no problems there. <laughs> the engineering on this bag I think is just so intelligent. It's so smart. Like the engineering perfect. Whoever made this bag, whoever came up with this design, girl, boy, need a raise because this is a about time people start buying coach bags again because coach quality 
is beautiful and the bags are reasonably priced it's not too expensive listen don't kill me but i feel like to bring it back to the graces of people to have people wanting to get a coach bag so have people like oh i'm getting me a coach kill me y'all probably gonna be mad at me especially the people who don't have this bag yet but i think they should probably raise the prices just a little bit you know how if something is expensive then it puts it in a different um in a different bracket now all of a sudden people want it i feel like because this bag is like with taxes it comes up to um 5 30 something i feel like they should raise it just a little bit now you know coaches has to you know tread lightly because it's still you know but um just a hundred dollars more i mean i already got my bag so i don't care but like don't kill me but like maybe a hundred dollars more maybe like raise it up to like mm, maybe like seven 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 thirty ish with tax a little bit or maybe in the 800s i feel like they should raise it just a little bit like y'all y'all agree with me or i'm just talking out my ass i'm talking foolish and i i know forget it forget it but yeah that's it y'all i think i think it's the keeper i'm definitely keeping it so that is my two cents on this bag y'all it's so many videos out there if you want to get different perspectives of this bag but all i'm going to say is if you are on the edge on this bag just get it it's worth it just get it just get it you can have so much fun with this this season and the summer for sure just get a girl it's not too 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 expensive in the world of you know designer bags especially the price increases that these fashion houses are like doing every three months girl if you if you um a lover of Louis Vuitton, you know exactly what I'm talking about, girl. Louis Vuitton is just stressing me out these couple of months. But that's a different video. So get you one, get you one, get you one. This is definitely I'ma approve. Get you one. Anyway, y'all, so thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. As always, I'm wishing you success, access, happiness, and freedom, and upward mobility. Always, always, always. Let's just keep going up. Thanks for watching.